What's up guys? Today I'm excited. I'm going to meet up with Kaylee from Palette. This product here is called Palette or Palette Gear. And it's a tactile controller for your favorite editing software. It makes editing a lot easier and a lot more fun. She's gonna lend me a kit. I'm really excited to try it out. So let's see what's in the box. Palette gave me an expert kit, which comes with the core, also known as the brain of the palette. Two sliders, two buttons, and three dials as well. You can customize any kit they have online to have as many modules as you like. The palette works amazing with programs such as Adobe Lightroom, Photoshop, and Premiere. It is still currently in beta for Final Cut Pro X, but I have been using it for about a week now, and I've been able to customize the palette. It has become a helpful tool for me while editing my last videos. Since the modules are magnetic, you can easily set it up how you like. Once you plug in the core base into your USB port, they should all light up. Not sure if this is the best setup, but it has been working well for me. Installing this thing is a breeze. Go to palettegear.com start to download the app. This should only take a few minutes. Once the installation is done, the app dashboard should pop up and look something like this. This shows the growing list of all the apps and programs that you can set up with Palette. Since this video is about editing, let's choose Final Cut Pro X. And now you are on the screen where you have to set up your profile. This is where you can customize the buttons, sliders, and dials. I'll show you guys how I set mine up, but definitely change it to whatever will make your editing workflow a lot easier and smoother. First, let's name your profile. Whatever name you set here shows up on the core screen. You can also change the color that illuminates around each individual module. Let's start with the sliders. Since Final Cut Pro is still in beta mode, they don't give you many options for the sliders. I set one to volume, which controls the main volume on your computer, and the other one is set to brightness. Now let's set up the buttons. So the first button is for copy. The next, I set as the paste attributes button. See here as I use one button to copy my color correction from clip 1, and then the second button to paste it onto clip 2. Next we have the three dials. The first dial I have set up for zoom. When you turn it to the left, it will zoom out of your project timeline. When you turn it to the right, it will zoom into your project. I zoom in and out of my projects quite often, so this is definitely really helpful. The second dial is set up for adjusting any property that is selected. For example, say I want to precisely adjust the exposure on this shot. Select the attribute you want to adjust, then use the dial to apply the exact amount of exposure you want to the shot. Or say you want to adjust the scale size of the clip. Click on the number, then scroll left or right until you get it to the exact size that you want it to be. The last dial I have set up as audio level. This changes the levels of any audio from video clips or actual audio files. It lets me accurately set the volume level of the clip to the exact number that I want it to be. The palette is definitely a great tool to have as it helps cut down editing time by having the modules right next to you. What do you guys think? Would this be something that could help your editing workflow? Comment down below and let me know.